Yo, Dog Kitty Boucher here. Next, level painting. Hitting you up with another painting tutorial on the literal best of all days. Look at this noise marine. I'm going to show you real quick how to stay busy in the beat slab, how to be brave in the beat slab when they pull your airbrush out for them tight spots. This is that retro noise marine we've been working on him on Twitch. Working in an interesting palette of semi desaturated tones. And now we're going to start working off of more vibrant, saturated tones with an oldie but a goodie. We're going to use some of that Pro Acryl. A little bit of that green and yellow. So the idea here is a lot of his colors are bright, fantastic, sharp, but they're still kind of desaturated. We've covered desaturation in previous videos now. I really want his hair to be 100% saturated, vibrant, neon, all day, every day. A chase contrast, and this is a fun way to get that contrast with this OG retro noise marine reprint. Big shout out to G-Dubs on that. So all I'm doing real quick is laying out a quick base coat with the pure green. We did one earlier. That was just one coat. This is the second pass. We're trying to set it up for the airbrush. Now anytime you have a spot on a model like this big ass mohawk, this is a prime opportunity to flex them airbrush muscles. Okay? You can get in there. You don't need any other accoutrement. Just go in, be brave with the airbrush. We're going to set up with a little flow improver. We're going to go in with the same green that we did a couple base coats with, with our paintbrush, and we're going to smooth it out with our airbrush. Now with these Pro Acryls, you don't need a whole lot in the pot. A lot goes a long way with a little bit of flow improver. It's in the pot. Let's just do a little gangsta gumbo. Make sure we're looking good. And I'm going to just do a couple of thin coats with the airbrush to smooth out that green. And you can see, actually, if as long as you're confident and, you, and you're patient, Look how close I can get into that, all that purple and black we already did on Twitch, all that cool ass shit, without getting even one drop of green on anywhere else on his body. So that's what I'm saying, just gotta be a little brave, gotta be confident. Sneak in there, don't be afraid to use your airbrush mid-project for a clutch element like this hairdo. Now once that green is laid down, we're gonna add a couple drops of this yellow from the Pro Krill in there, we're gonna really yellow up this green. Really bring it to that neon spectrum, kind of like our classic Necrotite green. Almost shows you how they make Necrotite green over at P3. Look at that. I feel like we've seen that color before. Let's get the Gangsta Gumbo to engage. Mix it in the pot. Prime the pump. Let's go. We're going to be shooting toward the outer tips of the Mohawk, bringing down some of this neon green. We're not overly concerned with a smooth transition or a subtle transition. I'm down for it to be a little abrupt here little of that 80s style this guy's mohawk is on points now once you lay it down and you get those tips looking fresh you gotta frost those tips make it look its best we've got other opportunities to play off with the other colors but for the most part we're gonna be staying in here with just these two but I am gonna bring in an old school color we haven't used in a while because we've been on this pro acryl kick now I love these colors that yellow is super bright beautiful we're gonna get in tight we're gonna make sure we have those transitions we're gonna be cognizant of our angles and our approach so we don't get any of this on his armor by be just being clever and moving the model around you'll find how easy it is to actually avoid overspray on the model too easy big fan of this dude right here all right now let's flip gears let's throw a little water in the pot Percolate the pot, dump the pot in the hobo sink. Do it a few times, make sure it's nice and clean, but we're gonna leave a little dirty paint water behind and we're gonna go all yellow. We're really gonna go with that next tier of saturated vibrance. That yellow is on point. Now the thing is, is that I wouldn't describe these paints as being super saturated, but they are vibrant. Now we're gonna just amp it up like it was looking bright before but them tips need to get frosted take a look at what's happening now we're doing a little bit less here as we go toward the tips making sure that our mid-tone is intact we don't want to wipe out any of the previous steps that's very important when working with the airbrush to get those icy transitions exercise the control be patient angle that flow there you go he's looking his best true rock star Noise marine life. It ain't easy being greasy. Okay. Water. 
percolate, hobo sink. Water, percolate, hobo sink. We're really gonna clean the pot out a little bit more this time because we are gonna shoot in with some pure yellow. Get it on deck. Here we go. Classic flash gets yellow. Now, I'm starting to look at flash gets yellow like it's not brighter than the pro acryl yellow. But I would say it's more saturated. I would say it's more the yellowest of all yellows. So we're gonna go in with a pure neck, uh, I almost said necrotite green. You can see where my head's at. Pure flash gets yellow. And we're gonna redo the tips. And it's certainly not gonna be brighter. Brighter at least in the terms of value. It's not a brighter value than the actual golden yellow, but it is super yellow. So this is gonna help us get that saturation. We're gonna keep it real thin. We're gonna glaze it over the tips and you're gonna watch it snap in. It's looking nice and bright, but it's about to get a whole lot more vibrant with a little bit of this flash gets yellow glazed over the top. It's beautiful. I mean, it's crazy. Look at that. But I'm noticing I want those tips to be a little brighter. So once we lay down this new thin glaze of Flash Gets Yellow, I'm gonna go right back to the golden yellow and we're gonna treat it as a highlight color and we're gonna take a little bit of this over the Flash Gets because they're gonna interact differently with each other. Don't be afraid to go back and forth with the airbrush tech. You can, it's, it's fluid, you can do whatever you want. So now we're gonna glaze some of this in on the tips, brighten them up a little bit, but most of that Flash Gets Yellow is gonna stay 100% intact and along the theme of what I'm explaining where we bring this flash gets yellow in, it gives you a different look and then we go back to the golden yellow and now it gives you an even new look layering paints over each other gives you fantastic looks for example putting green over yellow looks a little different than putting yellow over green so we're gonna take some more of our pure green thin it down to the max and we're gonna glaze some of this over the dark areas like that shadow and it's gonna give us a new transition. It's gonna flex all up over that yellow and create a nice new beautiful midtone to really feather that transition in. And there he is, Noise Marina Deck. Anyway guys, thanks for checking out this video. Follow me on Patreon. Play on, players. If you like these tutorials, check out Next Level Painting on Patreon. Become a patron of the arts today. We offer early and exclusive access to our videos and a rewards program for different pledge levels. Patreon is PayPal and credit card secure, so you don't have to worry about that. We use 100% of the money to improve our process.